Hey guys, welcome to Anifix episode 9. Today I'm here with someone new, Canapon, uh, who is uh, Callum's long lost cousin, because uh, as per suggestion uh, in the comment section, we uh, replaced Callum. So uh, say hello to Callum's cousin, Canapon. Canapon, is Canapon? that? Canapon. Canapon. Canapon, hi. <laughs> what? How would and Canapon also, speak? there's also Glenn. Yeah. What? Canapon can't speak, that's the entire point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he lost it. He lost his tongue back in Nam. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you guys know that Nam was actually fought with like anime girls? Like instead of bullets, they just put anime like girl figures into the guns and just shot them off. Oh, it was a tragedy. Yeah. My you know what? Can you imagine your wife being shot with like your own waifu and her breaking into like millions of pieces? I would be. <laughs> I would be crippled with depression. That's the nightmare and right scarred. there, isn't it? That's like the real. Yeah, that's 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 just that's dark. I, I'm that's just imagining it as like no something like Ken Cole and um, the <laughs> girls and puns are just like in Vietnam, notably a tragedy on both sides. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh. anime it can Direct make it. When's the 9/11 anime coming out? Zonkey no Terror. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it already aired. Cal. Oh, Zonkey no Terror was like too too removed though. Nobody nobody died. They were good terrorists. When are we gonna get like the full on like such bullshit? Yeah. People died. <laughs> yeah, like like yeah. in reality, they were like no one died. When reality, yeah. it was just Nobody... like tons of people died. Yeah, the guy on the uh, the guy in the wheelchair who just couldn't use the elevator. It was like oh. <laughs> But nobody <laughs> died because they rang the the ring they rang the bell so that everybody would leave because everybody always leaves. What about those people on top of the roof who were just yeah who know, didn't have time? Was like literally off, talking about their future. <laughs> <laughs> oh rip! Oh. So many people in there so died. Um. So guys, I actually have a real life story for once. Amazing. Uh, oh. Because I actually actually ventured outside for <laughs> once to um. Escape the weebs, basically. Wow, hey. But that's that's the twist of the story. So, I went into uh, Cambridge on Saturday to the Cambridge Leisure Park oh. for all of you who uh, happen to live in Cambridge. They're very fancy. Uh, and uh, it's a little walk there. There's some restaurants. I went to a restaurant with uh, some guys. It was for a birthday. And then there's an arcade as well. So I go to the arcade thinking, right, no, this, this is great. There's no uh, is there, was anime there fans. This is so refreshing. Me? And then oh. literally I get swarmed. So I don't know what happened. There was just like 20 cosplayers all came in the arcade. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Like there was no convention on, nothing. Just 20 cosplayers just in an arcade. And I was like, fuck's sake. I tried to escape the weebs and they come find me. It's impossible. Once you're in, you can't escape. Yeah. Was there like uh, a so convention? So, so, so when they circled on? around you, when they run, no, the- like I said, there's no, there was no convention. That it was so weird. Uh, I like, I've never, I've never seen anything the, like it. It was be- just a disease. Ever. Like they just, they walked up and like people they lightly brushed against, they just turned into cosplayers and they were cosplaying some anime <laughs> character. Oh, when they, they touched you must- Ru- Russ, Russ turned into like. Hmm. Who would, would Russ Ru- turn into? <laughs> Who would? I I can imagine Russ as um like a uh, black butler, <laughs> like the uh, de- the demon butler from that. That oh for fuck's sake! I like, yeah, oh I like to I like to imagine Russ as the black dude from Black Lagoon. <laughs> I don't know why it just seems a, a, it seems appropriate. Actually. Just like, for clarification here, Russ isn't black. <laughs> I'm, I don't understand. How do you know? Because you've oh, seen God. pictures. No, just, Your profile picture just, was a selfie. Yeah, but I just put some like fancy lighting, Callum. God. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was actually quite surprised because also I've never been to that arcade uh, before as well. And, like in the arcade, it was like a multi-complex thing. They have actual Japanese-style like karaoke booths there. That was pretty. That was pretty interesting. Did they have the Gunslinger like, Stratos game? Oh my god, I still want to no, play that because it still looks yeah. alright. That's, that's, it, no, it looks really cool. Yeah. Like, fuck the anime. The anime was... That, that's yeah, why never, I'm so... It's been a while since I've watched something that that's, that, that is that <sighs> garbage. It's, it's really ru- impressive, I actually. can't believe, I can't believe an action series. It's like, an action game. Like, when you go into the game, you jump in, you're flying across roofs, you're flying across the skies, you're firing. There's no... It's non-stop action. It's like... It's an arcade game. It's a, yeah. 
so you don't stop. Fucking the anime. One episode, one episode. I thought it was good from the fir- from the first episode, just because they had this really cool scene where they were flying around the shooting episode. guns. But then the second a episode, really poorly animated scene. It was ooh, the line right. work. Everything was just bad about it. There was nothing of value. That they had like one shots where they zoom zoom the camera like past everyone, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, beyond that. It was fucking... Uh, after that, they stopped having action in this adaptation of an action game, and it, it was hell. Gunslinger Stratos. They put like, it all on that one shot. Yeah, they? yeah. They were just like, we're going to make this the best thing ever. That's it. Fuck if if you want to experience yeah. the Gunslinger Stratos anime, just find that one shot, watch it, and then you're done. <laughs> or you could just not. I think that's better <laughs> advice. I, I still like Here's that what you shot. do. Oh. You load, you download all twelve episodes, or go to Crunchyroll.com, sponsored by Crunchyroll.com. Don't tell them though. Uh, <laughs> go to Crunchyroll.com and watch Gunslinger Stratos. You close your computer and throw it in the garbage because that's where it belongs. Because <laughs> you can't, you can't throw a web page out. But might as well get rid of that laptop. It's fucking. It's poisoned. Oh. It's toxic. Your bin must be pretty full, Glenn. It is because you like throw everything in there. It's my, my favorite place. I live there. Pretty sure Callum's just swimming around in the bin. As well. <laughs> I live in the garbage. I bought this new garbage can. It's really cozy, but I can't fit my Donkey Makara of my Snake Girl, and I just ah, uh. <laughs> it's a rough uh, life. Um. So, uh, I I watched something. Uh, what? I actually watched a lot. I thought uh, you said you were getting away <laughs> from the weeds. Last Lust, episode. I thought we agreed not to watch anime anymore. What happened to this? Yeah. Oh my we god, were I looking towards the our future. My god. We were gonna, Such we were a bad gonna be guy. engineers or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but now we're fucking ruined. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh. Um, but anyway, so I watched the first episode of The Disappearance of Nagato Yuki Chan. You should only watch. And uh, I'm just going to say right now, I don't agree with Callum's claim that it's better (laughs) than the Disappearance movie, but getting that out of the way. um, It was was an interesting watch because uh, I haven't actually watched... uh, Haruhi or the Disappearance in a while. All right. So it was kind of it was kind of weird because it was like. Uh, Did you watch the dub? Yes, oh, I did. Thought watch so. Piece of yeah. shit, you son no. of a bitch. I thought what? we agreed no, on no. this. Uh, too. You're just ruining <laughs> everything. Oh. I, I was asking because. I had to. Uh, uh, yeah. Crispin Freeman plays Kill. Because it's I best to watch like... it in the same way that you've watched the first season. Like, I'd watch it subbed because I never watched the dub of Harry. I never watched the dub yeah. of anything. Uh, it was actually the dub. Um, I know Glenn's just going to say that all awful anyway, but no, I'm not, it was in, not it was my first time watching a awful. broadcast dub. Um, broadcast dub. <laughs> broadcast dubs are all awful. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Literally, I was the difference between the broadcast dub and the original Harahi dub. You can tell. Even <clears throat> even uh, Crispin Freeman, he, it it's it felt like they rushed some of his lines, which. I guess they kind of have to to get it out in time. Yeah, uh, how uh, far are they? How regular are they? Like, how far behind are they with the uh, broadcast? Are they normally like five episodes behind? Um, you know, they didn't. Like they that? actually didn't. Funimation actually switch it up. Like last season, well, winter for the winter season, and I'm not sure about summer. No, wait. Yeah, for the winter season, they had tons of broadcast dubs. Nearly every show they licensed had a yeah, broadcast dub. Yeah, they did. And then this season, absolutely nothing. Basically, mm. Sprain got broadcast yeah. dubs, but then Summer just like only it's... four shows got broadcast dubs, and I don't care. Good, maybe yeah. maybe those so, dubs will be better. You know, I but hate it's dubs, gotta be but expensive. like the people that watch them, I want them to experience no, it something decent. It has to be expensive. That's the thing. Because and you know yeah. the the Nagato the Nagato dub, yeah, that's actually outsourced. Uh, it, like it wasn't even Funimation that were doing it, which means obviously that's more money. Basically, the reason why I'm pretty sure is the fact that Crispin Freeman's actually good enough that he belongs to a union and. Funimation, for some reason, doesn't work with unions, so they had to, like, outsource oh, the Nagato God. dub to a different... Yeah. <laughs> and they also don't have that much money for their dubs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Just really quick, they're not all untalented, but most of them are. I just want to say that, because people... Um, people I've, I've been throwing out too many... Get, get people well, angry at me <laughs> opinions lately. Disney yeah. dubs. Disney just needs to buy well, the entire Western anime industry. 
Wait, what, do you actually what, think the uh, Wind Rises? Did you watch any of that dubbed? Because I didn't no. actually think that dub was. I that thought good. it was they better had, like, than the Japanese one. Probably, probably because the Japanese than... one. Well, that's was because they awful. got Miyazaki just got his best friend in on it. It's so uh, awful. Didn't can... didn't that's literally yeah. that was literally like switched around the dub. The like um yeah how the dubs work. Just yeah. Anna was just <laughs> subtly putting in like Evangelion though, <laughs> just like between, <laughs> in between takes. <laughs> <laughs> to, to actually talk about the anime nagato yuki chan is uh you should i wouldn't recommend watching it if you're looking for some good what? decent i, I should say slice of this... slice of life fluff it's the closest really... we are ever going to get to the first season of Haruhi without dealing with the disappearance mm. bullshit no <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's Ep- actually probably more anime out there that are like Haruhi that aren't Haruhi than the disappearance of Nagato All right, but like, Shan. guys, guys, guys. <laughs> it's good slice of life fluff. It's enjoy, like, it's good to relax too. But other than that, it's not much. It's not really worth watching, essentially. It's like you could watch something more interesting. Except, I do believe you should watch the first episode and then maybe, maybe a couple in between. I'd have to, like, go and rewatch it and tell you what to watch. There's this, there's the one arc where they actually do something with it. What was it? Episodes, uh, 12 to 14, episodes 10 to 14, something like that. It's this, it's this, like, three to four episode arc where it becomes old Haruhi, essentially. Yeah, I've heard about and this. That is, I'm just waiting sh- for Haruhi to pop really, up. Really, you, if you, yeah. you can, you can just watch that and it would be totally worth it. Yeah. It what about, is, uh, what about the, good. the Christmas bit at the start? Where they, where they, the Christmas they get bit turkey. where Nagato's, like, obsessed with chicken or something. It's turkey. Turkey. And then she wants turkey, and they get turkey in it. Oh, class stuff. Yo, Callum, like, I, I'm not... Oh, thanks for the spoiler, <laughs> Callum. God. I've only, like, how was I gonna know that she got the turkey in the end? Oh, oh my God. Uh, so what, what a show to talk about, because there's absolutely nothing to talk about it. What? There's, no, this there's, there's, like, really... There's to talk about it. It's... Like oh, how it's really? better than the disappearance of Harry. You, you... Fuck Neither off, of you Callum. have even like watched past like episode one. I thought. What? No, I'm a uh, quarter of the way in. You're not even to the fucking arc I was talking about then. No, so but like, so we can... I, I'm really excited to check that out. Thanks, Glenn. You're you're, you're welcome. <laughs> did you uh... did you watch anything else for us? Uh, I finished uh, Snafu. Oh, um, well, we, we had well. like we had nearly an entire episode dedicated episodes. to talking about Snafu already. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I just want to say wait, wait, did you the last the, six episodes did, were good. The like, they were season? like really good, first season? better than the first season. First season or six, yeah. second season? Uh, the first season. Oh, so you didn't actually finish, finish it. Oh, no, no, I just finished the first season. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, now I can see why people, why... Some people, like, while well, most people prefer Yukinon over. Is it Yui? Is that her name? Is it Yui? Yeah. The, yes. the, 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 gin, the red yes, one with Yui. red hair. Yeah, Yui, did that's I, the one. Both uh, her names are Yui. Did I, did I already talk about Yui in the last one and how she's super underappreciated? I forget. Yes, you did. So I still you like Yui. I still no, think Yui's best. No, girl, it's just like people yeah. like hold the other characters in a higher regard to her, despite her being like probably one of the best characters because she's the mold to the other two you she's said the, this as she, well she yeah. is she is the reason she's always in between them is because she's literally the bridge to their relationship she holds it all together she's a she's great but pe- people yeah. are fucking assholes and they're just like oh you who cares i don't know if you noticed glenn but in the opening <laughs> like i only just noticed this but in the opening of snafu she walks uh yui walks so weird in the opening like uh, it literally looks like she just shit her pants <laughs> and that's the best way I can describe I, I don't, I don't she's recall just fucking this. walking along like it's so weird like uh yeah go back guys and watch the snafu opening yeah, and you'll yeah. see what I mean I can't say I recall <laughs> it's, it's so weird like I was like hang on that really doesn't look natural yeah like if you go and look back at the opening you'll see you'll know what I mean because yeah, but um, I've talked about two shows I've You've I've seen, so I think it's about time, time, time to turn the spotlight towards you, Glenn, not Callum Canapon. Canapon, oh, yes, yeah. of no, course. Spot. Wait, are we putting the spotlight on? Is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah. You've got to talk about a show that you've seen recently. That's how this uh, works. What did I watch recently? <laughs> I watched some porn, some hentai. Can we talk about that? Yeah, which one? 
Which one? Oh, what did I watch? I forget now. God. <laughs> I watched I watched the second episode of something. I'd like to think <laughs> that this is a classy podcast. Hey, hentai's classy. Have you ever watched a hentai, Callum? Of course. Like, no start to finish. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're like, actually, like, finish. I don't that. know. I'm Kenapon. You have to ask <laughs> Kenapa. <laughs> oh, shit. <yeah. laughs> oh, I'll ask my cousin you, next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Canop- Canopon left a bit ago. We couldn't tell because he can't speak. It was super well, sad. Well, no, but, as uh, as Canopon, I was only created about what is it, seventeen minutes ago? Nah, <laughs> that's my lifespan. <laughs> oh. Glenn, tell us it's about an one. anime you'd be watching. Yeah, yeah. Just, I need time to think. Uh, what? What if I said? What if I said I didn't watch anime? <laughs> Oh, oh fuck. What okay, then watched, fine. No, I fine. Watched, I'll I take over. Something. No, let's no. talk Go on, Canapon. about no. One Piece. This Canapon guy's a. I hate him. <sighs> like, yeah. Like he, 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 like he's even worse than Callum. I think we actually need to get Callum <laughs> oh, back. I, uh, yeah. I'm I not, don't I'm actually. Not talking about One Piece. <sighs> this is all I watch. No, just let him. Just let him say his thing, and then we'll shut oh, him up. Pretty. I spent. Uh, I spent a hundred minutes on this. See, I don't usually watch One Piece. I watched it like a years ago, uh, but I started. Um, I went and uh, picked up the episode of Sabo, which is like a hundred minute compilation of the latest arc. It's actually good as soon as you condense One Piece down, because that's the thing. One Piece is it though? Yeah, it- that's the thing. One Piece. Uh exists as like why it's... does it the why does that thing exist though i don't understand like surely they should start doing that from the start um, not from the later stock because all the people that are actually going to watch that Russ, have seen oh, Russ, it's, a that's a thing. They... it's a saturday morning kids cartoon essentially they need to keep it going uh yeah but um they these are like weird things they're like a fusion of just a compilation of everything that's happened and some new footage, new footage from a different perspective. So, oh, it's yeah. um, it's obviously it's easy to make because most of it is just stuff from the show that you've already made, and then you just add in a few cuts of history stuff from, that poor, from the poorly animated show. I love it. It actually, the, um, I this love- actually had some pretty good sequences though. Like, what arc uh, was what what arc was it? Uh, this is dress. Compl- uh, this is dress Rosa. It's the latest start. So, oh, never mind. I fucking I'm I'm not a, I'm um. But yeah, I, I barely got past like the fish island shit. Oh no no no! Like this is su- fish super island. Super recent. Dumb. <laughs> don't all, don't all islands have fish? No, if, fish man. <laughs> fish man islands. They were fishmen. Oh, fair enough. Yes, fair enough. They had an island to themselves. There was some some creepy fucking doujin with those fishmen. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's what you were reading. <laughs> no, no. I wasn't I was watching. I wasn't reading. I, I was know, too tired I know. to read doujin. So I was like yeah. I'm just going to fucking go through my files. <laughs> <laughs> um like do you guys like when they do that when they like take something. Like the best example is uh the majority of anime movies. Yeah. Like the Madoka movies stuff like that. Do you guys actually go out of your way to watch those compressed versions no. of shows. <sighs> like, did did any of you like? I have you ever done that? I at all? was yeah. going to um, with Mobile Suit Gundam. Like, they have like a, mm. I think it's one or two films that basically just sum up the whole thing. But um, yeah, I taught. Uh, but <clears throat> I ended up just on a whim uh, going. Okay, I'll watch the whole series. I'll just sit down and watch all fifty episodes of this series today. And then I talked to a friend who watched the movies. And we had completely different perspectives on what it was. I enjoyed it a hell of a lot more because that's the thing. The show, um, the show exists based on its length because it felt like a full adventure to me. They had these smaller moments with these characters that were valuable in themselves. Whilst he didn't get that, he got this condensed version of just flying around the world in a big ship doing things. Whilst uh, and it didn't have enough focus on the characters. Are we still talking yeah. about One Piece? Because I no talking out. about Gundam. You can't. no. I was <laughs> yeah. It's talking about Gundam. Oh. Talking about compressed stuff. Yeah, oh, like uh, Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann has the same thing. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Garden of God movies were good. Madoka Magica. Yeah. I'm... Madoka, well, the Madoka Magica, yeah. like, it's just like how there's haiku films, Madoka Magica films. There's these um, films that are just recap films for the sake of just a sort of money grab of sorts, like the Attack on Titan recap films. Yeah. It's but, like, um, no, I'm not going to watch those. Madoka's, Madoka yeah. was all right, though, because Madoka in itself is only a 12 episode series. So splitting oh, yeah. that up into two films was fine. But yeah, you take something like Gundam, Le Grand Le Grand, like, these are 50 episode series that you're just throwing into two films and it's it's not right and you just get these rush storylines without the without the the smaller bits because that's what pacing is that you go fast and then you go slow and hopefully for the slow moments you're fueling the fast moments that's uh, so have yeah. you legitimately not watched any anime then Glenn? I, is that like a I mean I feel like I watched something but I just kind of feel like it's the morning and I've kind of just not remembered anything mm. I did what did I watch I watched fucking what was the name of it <laughs> I can't remember I'm so sad I'm so sad it's... for the audience I'm so sad for me yeah you're, so you're wasting their time well it's like if we could just like just talk about older things I don't know what's something older uh, <laughs> uh, I watched. Uh, oh, I remember now. I started watching something called Shuffle Memories because it's like a sequel of sorts to Shuffle, which was garbage. But I was like, I'm gonna finish Shuffle Memories because I don't know why. Uh, what Shuffle That's about? Why I couldn't remember. Yeah. Well, Shuffle's like this ad- old adaptation from like 2000. Well, not. This it's not old, but it's like one of those older adaptations of visual novels. Of uh, yeah, it's like this yeah. etchy action. Not not action. Uh, etchy like. Kind of etchy action. Yeah, yeah. Just, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, etchy drama type thing. It's not. It's not. That wasn't that etchy of a show, but the show itself wasn't very good because. Yeah, I've seen it floating around the bargain bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, uh. it's there. And then there's the shuffle memories, which no one remembers exist because I forgot it exists, and that's why I never watched it. And then I saw it in my mail list, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I was like, "I never watched this," so I started watching it. It's not good. I don't know why I do this to myself. I got. I gotta yeah. finish it now. <laughs> no, no, no! I got no. I got something else. How often do you guys drop shows? And because you know, I try you know, not I, to. me, the man up top the hill, the man who looks down oh. upon all you plebeians who cannot withstand garbage the way I can. I don't drop a single series that I start because I'm dumb. I try not to, but I There's return one to season. Th- I return to things. There's one season, yeah, where I didn't finish any of the shows. What, just what them season all. was that? Uh, this? I think it was maybe two or three seasons ago. I can't uh, what do you But now I've made, now I've pledged that everything that I get past the third episode, you know that vital three, that, I'll actually. That's finish. not what the vi- that's, that's not thing. what the vital three uh, thing is. What do you that's mean? not the-, the vital three is the first three episodes. No, no, that's not the, the rule. Isn't that once you've watched past that and decided to continue watching, no, you no, have to finish I, it? I know. I was just referring to the three episodes as the vital three. I never said that was the law. Of the vital three. No, it's not what I said. Yeah, no, just imagine. Just my rule is never drop something before three just, episodes. Just t- a SWAT squad just coming into Russ's room right now. Did you do it? Did you fucking drop it, you piece of shit? <laughs> fucking did you, yeah. the vital three. It's the law. Instead of a police badge, they just got like Callum's face <laughs> on their chest. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> got my own police force. So much. <laughs> They're just wearing the cow well, mask. Like, they don't have his face. They just have the mask. <laughs> I, I, I am curious, though, like, what season... Like, what shows were in this season that know, you what didn't... what shows did you drop? Because, like, every every season always has, like, one show where it's like, the, yeah, you like, should probably watch this. Yeah. Yeah, no, I must have been super busy at the time because that's, like, literally a one-off. Well, what I season normally was do it? That. I can't... It was... Was it... It was either two or three seasons ago. Um, um, what, uh, winter 2015, it, fall 2014? Uh, Death Parade, Assassinated Classroom. It wasn't you're... fall 2014. Yes, winter 2015, watched... the one that Death Parade aired in. You didn't oh. finish Death Parade. I didn't, you didn't finish, finish any of the fucking... shows in that season. What, what was, what Damn. Was, what was, okay, people in the comment finish. section, start compiling a list of all the shows that from winter 2015 that Russ needs to watch. Jinketsu no Maria. Sh- uh... Uh, Ken Kola. Wait, is the, Yuri, was it, did Yuri Ken Kuma. Kola? Did Ken... Ken yeah, Collier. Pre- but I finished that. Okay, good. You got one. He's got yeah, okay, one. Yeah, maybe I did finish one. Phew. Yeah, all right. It, I finished the we best. Saved show. for us. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
I'm on. I'm on for another episode, guys. It's all right. Yeah. I think cool. What? What? Why? What? Well, did, okay. I don't. I know the anime adaptation just annoys me because I actually play the game, and they just every single girl that I wanted to appear never fucking appears. <laughs> the, if they have so many abandoned. characters in that game. I know, but the ones I wanted, Callum, <laughs> my <laughs> ship Dataroos. <laughs> they had Shimakaze, and that, and they thought that would appease most fans. Fuck Shimakaze. Fucking, it's just everyone who likes Shimakaze the most it has the absolute worst taste. <laughs> it's like if you like her the most, I don't want to speak to you. Okay, oh. I don't like her the most personally, but I know that there are a large. I've got a fr- like friend, a male yeah, those friend are who cosplayed as her. Is this the guy you took to the cinema? They, wait, they cos they cosplayed yeah. as her. Yeah, Dude, cosplayers are crazy. The, uh, there was, it's like, like this, that's uh, so revealing. The, there was this group, like three people, um, all dressed as Kankole characters. It was like good. No, good great. on good on them. I want to see their cosplaying. Shima Kanzai is pretty hot, but <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I saw this back during like the last Comicet, not not Comicet eighty eight, like Comicet eighty seven. There was this picture of someone who was cosplaying as Shima Kanze, and someone like took pictures of her while she was with this du- random dude. I don't know if, like, it was her boyfriend or something, and they were, like, just in this, like, more closed-off area, and, like, he was just jacking off on her. What? What? There was one... I'm and, and Yeah. And, like, he, he came on her butt, and she put her skirt over it, and... It's, Wait, what? This is, this is a legit this? thing. It's, what? This is a legit thing. It's just, like... Why? This can't have been, like, like a Crunchyroll article. You must have been searching for this. No, it was twi- It was Twitter. <laughs> I follow tons of Japanese people, and it's, it was fucking fuck. It was pretty Aww. funny. And they're like, "Yo, guys, what? Well, look what I saw!" <laughs> oh. oh, god. So, um, Callum, I guess mm-hmm. I actually do have to ask you now. What have you been watching? Uh, can even be a certain airing show, which we said we were going to talk about. Oh, wink, wink. You, you mean One Piece episode of Savo? I just told you oh, about that. Oh no, no. Okay, uh, I uh, recently took the initiative to pick up, once again, Charlotte, after not watching it since the first episode, and um, delaying it for this long is the worst decision I've ever made, because it's guys, really, well, really we good. Talked, we, t- we talked about it in an episode two, I like a bit. Fucking, uh, Briefly. Like, I'm, I'm way behind on it, even though, like, an episode or two ago, whenever this goes up, I promised... Ross, that I'd watch it, and I completely <laughs> lied. I'm still like, on epi- I still haven't gone past like episode two. Oh, uh, see, so, uh, like I've been trying to gather the opinions of from as much people as possible on the seventh episode. It ranges it from the, the stupid, like this is Elfin Lead two, uh, Matt, you you idiot, and then it ranges from Callum, <laughs> which is like um, as much as I don't know what happens. That se- that seems like a really weird comparison. You you like it's not it's not the right. If it, if you, there's any comparison that you want to make, uh, the best one is it's Jun Maeda being Jun Maeda. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. I I think I read an interview with him, and I th- I think it um it um wrote people will probably say not this again. So. I feel like the people that liked Angel Beats will like Charlotte, but you don't necessarily have to have liked Angel Beats to like Charlotte. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I, uh, as much as I love uh, CJ Kishi's uh, view on comedy, I think um, Charlotte executes uh, drama and comedy more efficiently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because uh, yeah, it's a machine like, efficiently. Well, no, that that's uh, like it's a weird way to explain it, but I actually think it's accurate because um, what, that seems, what, more what like, Angel that Beats... seems more like a big. It sounds more like a criticism because it's like this is written by a machine. That's what it sounds like. Oh, it's no, like it, a machine. It's like this is like machine. It's <laughs> written by drama. me. <laughs> uh, what? Well, Angel Beats had this thing where the first half of it was stacked through full of these comedy scenes, sparse with these small little. Uh, Parts of let's hunt down ten can, can, can you guys just beat her up me really quick? That Angel Beach, I that Angel Beach should have just been that one like episode where they're just going through that one cave and they're just all getting killed by booby traps. It should have just been that for the entire. That series. is actually that the OVA. Is that well? That happened. No, that, the was OVA the, as no well. that was in the actual TV series. The, um, OVA the was, manga. That's no. that is the manga. Why was that OVA called Hell's Kitchen? They were never oh, wait, in a wait, kitchen. No. 
I don't. Oh no! Wait! No wait! Did did did, did, did that OVA come out? Yeah. Or was that that I newer one? I watched it like oh. about two months ago. Yeah. Oh, I didn't fucking um, realize. The Angel Beats manga is a prequel, and it does show a hell of a lot more of uh, the going underground, like figuring out how to make weapons, like all the yeah. st- things that are established in this shit series that don't really make sense. That's what the manga does. Um, yeah, I'm but, glad someone picked up the manga because I'll probably. But, I'll probably read yeah. that actually. Yeah. But yeah, the second oh. half the second half of Angel Beats I felt was definitely the weakest part because it it lost that comedy that comedy factor to it. Yeah. But tr- but it still tried to. There were still points where it tried to do the slapstick and just didn't quite work anymore. Because yeah. whilst Charlotte can do it, Charlotte can introduce these comedy bits, but at the same time not take away from those bit the drama bits that they're following. It's just a really, really well, uh, really good way of positioning different scenes, and it, it works. Beats. A lot of the poops, a Daisy. Let's cut that out, uh, or not. Uh, <laughs> and Angel Beats. Uh, the thing about it is, I like Angel Beats. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, I like I Angel Beats very highly. Yeah, yeah. But uh, a lot of the drama kind of fell completely flat because it was never earned. <laughs> mm. It was, like, that. I liked the comedy bits, but whenever the drama came up, it was like... Yeah. Let's let's throw this drama in because we we need to. We need to have the drama, right? It has to be in here. It turned so around it too in, quickly. And it, it never... Yeah, essentially not. It's just the, the drama just came without any sort of build-up, and it didn't feel earned as though the characters deserved yeah. my feelings. Sure, I'll, I'm a little baby, and I will feel feelings about just about anything, uh, but I when I'm watching something, even if I like feel sad or whatnot, I'm going to be like, this didn't earn these feelings of mine, to be honest. Mm. Mm. As as my un, that's not the best way to put it. But, but uh, yeah, I don't like know how the to put it. the ending of Angel Beats. I'm not going to spoil it, of course. But that was a heart, uh, that was a moment which was heart gripping. But there were so many ways that it could have like followed on from other bits. They could have had things throughout the series that made me I just think the not be able. To... Of Angel Beats was one of the worst parts of Angel Beats. I, I thought it was. Are you talking all... about the true ending, or are you talking about? The, true ending? This isn't a fucking there, visual there is novel. No tr- there is no true No, ending. there is, because basically it ended, and then they, like... Didn't they, like, make a... An they old- made, like, a five... They made a five-minute thing, but that was an alternate ending. That wasn't the Wait, actual was it? ending. Oh, fair it's, enough. It, it doesn't say true ending anywhere. It just says... Well, it's just alternate, <laughs> alternate ending. Alternate ending, yeah. Fair it's, like, enough. another... But, they called it, like, another heaven or something. I don't fucking remember. But uh, that's what I... That's how I like to... Like, for those emotional moments, I don't want it just to hit me hard when I'm watching it. I want myself to not be able to sleep the next night, which is something yeah. that's happened in Charlotte. Really? It's, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I, I couldn't sleep the next night. Yeah, um, I was quite yeah, impacted could, as well. If you guys really want to talk about it, I could just mute myself. No, 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 no cause, because I'd say I to Callum, dare. we're not going to spoil it, because yeah, that's just like it, a thing we do. Um, but, but one thing, yeah, Callum, hmm. uh, I, I'm i actually slightly scared after seeing episode eight of Charlotte, because that episode, it didn't really have that much purpose. And what? What? Inch, the, uh, did you not see the eighth episode? No, I did see it, but why are you saying it has no purpose? Because it was just fluff. What it actually just happened fluff? in that episode? Like, th- like there wasn't See, anything the that progressed it. The but hospital. No, that, was, that was just like, Callum. You know they're gonna forget about that character. That's not. Did that's they not go gonna to matter. The hospital what? to check their blood pressure. No, Callum. No, trust no, me. Key, they're not gonna key, forget key, about that character. This, it happens because... in Angel Beats. Key has to leave some stuff. Like they, they, they have these, to. These should be twenty six episodes. They, they're gonna leave some stuff out. Like I. I don't think that episode eight will have much purpose no, in, the over- pretty- in the overarching scheme of things by the end of the series. It's the one big factor that brought our main character and the female lead together, like now for the first like time, that they're actually seeing eye to eye on things and they're starting to work together. I'd say the seventh episode did that, uh, but so, I'd say the eighth is just the icing on the cake. But yeah, I'm I'm curious. Did the did it pull a did it pull a key or a John Mado to be more precise? Where, yeah. where from the um, first ep- no no not like that. Uh, where the first episode, um, whatever his name is, the guy the guy who what was it? Because he looks like Kanye from Amagi. What was his name? Oh, you say looked like Kanye West. MC Kun. Well, <laughs> MC Kun. Yeah. Was Kanye. I forgot his name. MC Kun. Well. 
Sorry that I forget his name. I haven't. I only watched the first two episodes, and that was like five weeks ago. I uh, watched the epi- and, uh, all uh, of it two days ago, and I can't remember his name. Neither can I. <laughs> Rip in pieces. <laughs> Where in the first episode, the thing the thing about a lot of the keywords is the MC Kun tends to be very similar to the other MC Kuns. Air being a bit of and more out there, not as similar. But did it pull the thing that John Mita has done before? Where in the first episode. MC Kun was this big asshole, but then in later episodes, that asshole part of him basically just disappeared without much, like, r- did it just go? Um, now, not... now that you say that, Glenn, sort that just... of, but with uh, <laughs> that sort does of happen in key adaptations, um, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, oh sort of, but with relapses. That's all yeah. I'll say. Yeah, yeah, true. true. It's not. It's not completely gone. That um, he's at least like he's still a selfish prick at heart. At heart, yeah. At heart, yes. I'll I'll see when I watch it. Yeah. We'll talk about it again when it finishes. Uh, But yeah, yeah, that's that's like a top of the list one. I consider it right now. Yeah, I'd say it's one of the better... One of the better shows I don't know. in the season. I don't, I don't trust people with bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to it. I, trust me, I, I like the first two episodes. I'm still into it. I just... I'm lazy. Well, I'm not lazy. I'm just busy. But... Fucking busy watching. Hence, I anything else. Callum Kun. Ah, oh, you have said the words. Did you watch anything else? And you're clearly egging me on. You clearly want me to talk about Walk of a Girl. Yeah, I wanted Yay. it. I needed it. <laughs> Is it the same director as Harahi? Let's just establish um, that quickly. Is, it's is it the same director as Harahi. I'm pretty think, sure it's either the same director or the same. I think it was like a writer. script. I think it was a One script writer from Harahi that became a director. I, Something like I, that. I, Glenn, search it up for me. A, nah, I can't. Be no, don't, I, don't I, do that. I, I know it's adapting. A, uh, um, it's like. It looks really. It's a four coma because it is by it's yeah it's by the Kinero Mosaic mangaka. Oh, is it the adaptation? Yeah. Okay, that's quite interesting. That's cool to see. Yeah, that's 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 basically all I know about it. It's cute, <laughs> <laughs> cute and amazing. Yeah. Uh it's um one it is a uh, person who was formerly working at uh, Kyoto Animation and was an episode director on Haruhi, uh, who has gone over to become the director. Of Waka Girl. Fair enough. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a <laughs> Studio Nexus, which it is a yeah, brand the first new work. You said. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's. I, I, I. This is getting more and more common every year. It seems like we're getting like five new studios just popping out of nowhere. No. And then. <laughs> okay. F- five I, five new studios a year. God no. You're crazy. Okay. Well, one, Someone more have been popping up studios. recently, if that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, in the recent years, like, uh, just, honestly, just this year and last year was a sudden boom in oh, them. Yeah, like, the past the past two years, there's been a decent amount. Yeah, um, you'll see a lot of them if you go through short shows. You'll just see these weird names that you've never seen before. It's like, who the hell are they? <laughs> yeah. And you'll find that they either branched off from someone else, or are now just making it on their own. Go, little busters. Uh, fight the good fight. Something <laughs> like that. Uh, do you uh, have anything to say about this amazing show then, Callum? Because you just, like, talked around <laughs> it as opposed to... I, I, I did. You know, well, got into the real, like, grooves of this amazing work. But, um, just... Because it is a uh, really, really, really strong slice of life, which is a weird sentence to say because nobody considers um, slice of life to be anything, anything strong. But oh, it's fuck th- you! What? No, no, like um, non non bury. There's tons of slice of life. It's most most slice of life anime. Most of my favorites are like, no, no, but that's slice of life. yeah, but that, but people consider it to be like a, a weak genre. Yeah, that's because like, you want to know why? Because those Ew. people are fucking ignorant yeah, idiots. Yeah, they're idiots. Kind yes, of. I don't take people like that I, seriously. Uh, I don't speak for them. I speak of them. You speak against them, Callum. Come on. Yeah, I, I take up. a stand. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, Waka Waka is just presented fucking really, really like well. Thought Shirobako was a bloody like. I don't know, first season of K-On! <laughs> like, people legitimately said that. Really? Like, oh, yeah. God. It's ridiculous. But that's the thing, like, education in anime 
is something that I strongly value because uh, you take something out of the series. I don't know, like, are there any series you guys have watched where you you sincerely thought that you took something from that? Not just emotionally, but, like, actual information. Like, things you can use in trivia. Like, like there's the... Well, there's obvious ones, like Bakuman or... Yeah, I was going to yeah, say yeah. Bakuman. Easily, but yeah. Maybe, also, like, the currently airing Serga Sayu. Still a yeah. great show. Uh, mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yes, even, uh, like, stuff like, like Genshiken, even if it wasn't a oh, lot yeah, of Gen- uh, I think pure information... Be like, but... I feel like Genshiken should be a show that, like, all beginners should watch. Just I, because yeah. it, it really informs you about what the, uh... You're not allowed what to call yourself sort of like. You're not allowed to call yourself an otaku until you watch Genshiken. Let's introduce that rule. You can't call yourself an otaku until you're spending all of your fucking money yeah. on anime merch and stuff yeah. and you're basically yeah. living on. You just off need of to that. get out otherwise. It's a just, podcast for your, weebs never, by weebs. Never call yourself an otaku. Call yourself a weeb. Yeah, yeah weebs a much nicer word. It's I like what, it. I like how it's off the yeah. It's what your uh, otaku is what your parents call you when <laughs> they've given up. <laughs> So like, what I'm about to say is gonna be really. You guys are gonna look. You guys are gonna. If if we could see each other, you would give me a weird look. Okay. I think or I think Remo when I first watched it, well, it was like the first season was like what 2010, 2010 I think. 2011. I watched it. 2011. I watched it while it was airing, and I feel like as a show, it could really, really, really help someone understand anime more because. I actually no no <laughs> no 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 think, <laughs> think of it like this you watch a remo and like you're doing it because like you I I don't really understand but you watch it and you, this this is the otaku tropey show yeah why, why why do people watch this you watch it and you realize you start to understand it more you start to understand why some people may like this you might understand why you start to like it I actually there, agree there, you yeah. have to get to know the appeal of it. Me, um, that or email was actually. Uh, uh, by the way, it was 2010. It was December 2010. I got it wrong. Um, yeah, fuck you. Uh, but or email was the first series I watched that was not like um one of the not like uh, a Shonen Battle series. Well, not not really? even just Shonen Battle series, really? but just like oh, yeah. Wow. Me and a friend watched it for a joke. We thought the type. Um, uh, we're at a party once, and um, my friend t- uh, starts talking about this uh, manga they he heard about, and he said there's there's actually an anime for it, and we found the concept hilarious, so we watched it for a joke, <laughs> and genuinely, uh, genuinely adored it. <laughs> yeah, it was a really, really. Did really your friends good like it as well? Or was yeah. it just like a oh. one-sided thing? He went for, like he went further than me into it. Like he start um, like he started uh, going on to Mal and then like finding whatever's recommended. Like he went into Strike Witches. He went like full Exy Harem shows. <laughs> like I thought I'd lost him for a while there. <laughs> he thought he was long gone, never to see him again. Yeah, like uh, but he like I, I did, think uh, he overdosed on it. That I, that back in twenty eleven, I I imported. All of the first season's Blu-rays for Arimo. Oh so god! I, I have nine <laughs> volumes of Arimo's Blu-rays. <laughs> uh, Arimo's, Arimo's a fantastic. It's show. it fuck is it fantastic, really. but fuck the ending. Because uh, the second season in general wasn't as good, but it wasn't the first good, season is yeah. like definitely one of probably one of my favorite shows. To be honest, it it was just really really good at what it tried to do, which is weird when you watch it because. If you watch it with the idea that, oh, it's really, really effective, or any sort of that terminology in your head, you go, what? But it's just really, really good. Uh, It's especially good at splitting the fan base, because I remember uh, going online during that time, and the wars... They were bloody, oh, like the, best. the uh, like people talk about the Nisekoi best girl wars. Nothing, nothing compared yeah, to Ori yeah. Man, who cares? A lot of people point? got hurt. It was quite brutal. It was like the, we're still working on the death. It's count. like it when was... you think about it, when you're fighting over who's best girl in Nisekoi, it's like you're fighting over these girls who none of them are gonna win anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, what's there was an ending, and it was the ending nobody wanted, and then people got pissed off, and it was beautiful. There, there, there was like this 
some sort of book. I wasn't sure if it was a light novel, if it was like a sort of manga thing, or even just an art book called like Orimo After Story. Oh God! Which, which no. I'm I, I'm no. not sure if that like like the, I know the Vita game has different endings because I've watched videos of that where you can, oh, like, you can get with Kiraneko, you can even get with Kaneko, and you, you can get with uh, mint, what of the uh, childhood friend girl. Uh, all those people, I know. Yeah. Uh, in the after story, I, I actually know. Now that I think about, it, I think the after story was like their kids. <laughs> but like, who, like that. Who, I can't like recall. Who's... I don't. Or Kiri knows in Kasuke's, I think. But that. But yeah, I that's... think in the Vita games they have like there were kids as well. But it's weird because that's the ending that nobody wanted, but everybody expected. Because yeah, um, yeah. like when people jump to, jump it. into it at the start, it's like okay. Uh, this this will probably be the ending, but then as you watch through it, you don't want it to be even more and more. Because d- yeah. despite the writer's best intentions, uh, Kirino was never a likable character. I I liked I liked Kirino to be honest. I, I not, not for not for any of the right reasons, but I liked her. Ah. Uh, <laughs> for for a variety of reasons I don't want to explain to you, I liked oh, her. God. <laughs> Oh. More doujins. <laughs> well, that, that's that's a part of it. But like every character has pretty good doujins. Anyway, I think on that note, since we're getting a bit further, we should move on to the new section. Oh, tales of weebs. Tales, tales of weebs. weebs. Tell it, yeah, that's the one. It's yeah. it's a terrible section name. Please submit your new names to <laughs> Callum's email. Um, oh. oh, I'm gonna get floods. I, I, will be, I will be running. To be honest, guys, I'm, I don't want to be mean. I didn't like a lot of the questions we got. Not not like that. I meant they, they just weren't they weren't engaging enough for conversation. Um, yeah, like asking yeah. for asking us to talk about a specific title, like I don't know, just any specific anime. Yeah, but like I, I bet at some point we'll have some sort of live stream and you can ask us there or something like that. Um, it's, yeah. it's more interesting to ask us questions that are more broad, I suppose. Yeah, and maybe go uh, yeah go for questions that you haven't seen a lot. As well, because for instance, like uh, which uh, stuff like uh, which anime character would you like to spend a day with? Like, <laughs> yeah, those are things that we probably get asked it, like all the time because yeah, they're just on the Ask FM. Someone yeah. asked me what limb I'd lose to spend a day with Harahi. That was um, yeah, was that was like something. That. Yeah. So yeah, questions yeah. we picked. Like, thank you for the question. They thank you for the questions. Yeah, I'm not, it's not meant yeah. to insult you. Thank you for the questions. Ask, ask some more. It's just, it doesn't yeah. really work for conversation. Some of the ones we got. So just, just the better picked, the question, the more likely we're going to answer it. Basically. Yeah. So, like, I picked three this time around. That'll probably be the norm. It'll probably be three questions usually. Yeah. Maybe a bit more depending on whether or not those questions are like really easy to answer or something. But. Thank you to Lou, Lou Senpai, sitting by the window anime No, 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 for... Lou talks anime now. Yep. Oh, is it? Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that, Lou Senpai. Uh, he asked, uh, well, this is this this question is going to suck for us. What are some oh. manga series that you would like to see adapted into an anime? <laughs> and who would you like to work on said project? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Russ, Russ, I don't understand how, I, Russ, I don't understand how you've managed to not read anything. Like, how terrible well, are the you? Same, like? I'm pretty sure Louie and Kevin are both the same. So. But, yeah, um, but that doesn't make, that doesn't make yeah. it better. No, I'm not uh, saying Russ, it does. I'm just Russ, saying it's not only me. Uh, yeah. are you, Russ, are you subscribed to Crunchyroll? I am, yeah. No, okay. I've, I've, Do you have I've read some You could be, then. too. I read um, the Kawaii So uh, okay, manga, so I actually read that on Crunchyroll. Oh, that yeah. only has an adaptation. I know, so I can't even say that. Yeah. Just <laughs> Crunchy Crunchyroll manga has a great selection of stuff. Like, That's and it. it's so it's That's really it. re- okay. Um, basically, the further you scroll down, the worse they get. <laughs> but stay around the top area, and there are some really really good stuff. Um, yeah. Like, uh, what was it? Um, uh, yeah, Arjun is good. Yeah. Uh, Bokuro Wamina no Ka- Kawai So is good. Takaha- yeah. yeah. The, Takahashi is listening. Orange is listening as a- well, because that's on there. And that looks oh, interesting. Yeah. So I was going to read uh, Orange. But yeah. uh, a Silent Voice is amazing. Uh, Takahashi San is listening is a really that good comedy Silent series. Voice already getting a movie adaptation. There yes, and I'm so excited about that because nobody thought it would happen. The series well, was really, like, really it's short. It's more like, will that will it work as a single movie? Will it be two movies? Yes. It was two two um, movies that that work, I think. I think Koenokatachi works as a single movie, though. 
because um, could, but there'd there be a lot cut. of there'd be a lot of condensing and removing of material. But there's it's, some it's material okay. that can easily be removed because, yeah, uh, right, yeah. like, you can easily throw it into a three X structure. There's like a clear like complication resolution to every part. Um, yeah, answer the fucking question. Yeah, I was gonna say you too. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, for me, it's new game. There was actually a Photoshop. Oh, oh dude, going that's around. A, that's a fucking inevitability. It's it's gonna it happen. Is, it is. Um, it's whole I, I bunch, uh, isn't it? Something like that. Huh? Um, I was trying to remember uh, who the publisher is. Um, oh, yeah, I know the. Pu- I I can't remember their name. But I they think did it's one other series. It, they they did one other series, and that series did well for them. So there's a big chance for new game. Yeah, but there was actually a Photoshop going around Japanese uh, news websites, and it was. Uh, it, um, people want this, but it's basically a manga about game development, and it it's about working life, and I just. So excited for its high possibility of getting one, and I've got my fingers crossed. Apart from that, like um, there are like loads of other series. Um, oh yeah, uh, Biscuit Hammer, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. It's never going to get an oh, anime adaptation yeah, though. Ended, sadly, uh, not only has it ended, but its publisher has never actually. Um, made an anime. They did okay. No, yeah. They did it once, once in their entire lifespan, and that was Arpeggio of the Blue Steel, and that's it. Arpeggio did well. It did well, but Arpe- they haven't Arpeggio done anything for their. Uh, they haven't done anything for their ever other series. It's ridiculous. Like they uh, they stake everything on Arpeggio, and I guess they don't want to run the risk of anything else. And of course, it is already finished. But yeah, those are uh, probably my two. Yeah, what about you, Glenn? Yeah. Uh, Shinozaki-san, Kiwo Otoshika ni, which English translation a lot Please. easier to say. Don't become an otaku, Shinozaki-san. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> which is a... It's a manga about a girl who uh, goes to a new school, and she doesn't leave her friends behind. She still, like, will hang out with them, like, on a weekend or something. That happens in, like, later chapters. But she goes to a new school, doesn't know anybody, and she runs in... And, she well no actually the first day she was sick and you know the first day of school is crucial to make friends so yep. she she didn't have any friends mm. so she ended up getting ending up with this really she she ran into this cute girl but this yeah. cute girl ended up being like this otaku girl so basically she, it's her trying to learn the culture and to blend in so that she can be friends with this girl and this other one also and it's uh, really interesting there's actually, a certain genre a, that this is uh, commonly defined under that uh yuri yes <laughs> well like that that is that is a main part of it yeah but it's actually a really interesting uh conversion from like normal to otaku because she hates otaku she hates anime she hates manga and it's really just unjustified because she's basing it off of generalizations and then she realizes those, gen- those generalizations <laughs> those generalizations are uh, a bit silly to have and she eventually is just morphs into a sort of anime fan, manga fan herself. Mainly Precur. Precur's good. But it's 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 a really good manga and it is it has lesbians. They're they're gay. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> and uh Okay. I'd want Mizushima to work on that, to be honest. I w- I'd love for Mizushima to drag that. That uh, that actually like as you were explaining it, it did kind of um remind me of Genshin again, to an extent. Yeah. Yeah, Genshin can like the same it, message it is sort of, of it, similar at to least. Genshiken. But again, she can about people who are already like mostly anime fans. There are there is that one yeah. chick who like. But yeah, like there's her story. yeah, like she's meant to be our kind of lens into it, like the reaction person. Mm-hmm. And then a uh, obvious second choice would be, uh, not a, not a sequel, uh, an adaptation of the Accelerator manga from the Real oh, yeah. franchise. Which that is, uh, pff, that's okay. I just said like an adaptation just to have more of that anime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And other than that, no, nah, just yeah, nothing. Next well, there's, tons, then, of, there's yeah. tons of other things, but we need oh, to yeah. fuck that. Yeah, yeah. But these are the core ones. These ones we'd fight for. Yeah, we'd uh, we'd go to war. We'd go into the rain. Like, what what is that? What is that one live action TV series where it's like, isn't this what you came for? Uh, I don't know. I Let's move on to the next question. Yeah, let's no. do it. <laughs> no, no, no. We gotta gotta go with it. 
Uh, what are some relatively uh, from Lou again? Thank you, Lou. Thank what you, are Lou. some relatively unknown OVA series you would recommend? We had like a time when we were just going through quite a few no, of yeah. these. Uh, but yeah, and then you watched like a few of them without me, you prick. Oh yeah, yeah. You're fucking at, like you were like, oh, we were gonna watch that together, and I was like, yeah, that's the reason I found them. <laughs> yeah, they were great. There was the we. We, we yeah they were pretty good. We watched the uh the Denpo no Kyoji one, which is that two episode brains base sort of detective mystery thing. Yeah, yeah. J- which um, was just really... Kyoji, <laughs> not Kyoshi. Uh, I, Kyoshi I, I, I don't have it written teacher. down. I was just trying to remember the name. Yeah, like, um, yeah. I think it's Denpo no other... Kanajo. Oh, yeah, am I thinking it. of? Or is that Electric Girl? No, it is Denpo no Kanajo. Yeah, 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 I was right the first time. Like, there's a bunch that aren't really coming to mind right now. I probably should have written some down or something, but there's like, there's a there's there's like from, there's tons of OVAs from like the '90s that are really good, like uh, Shamanaic Princess, which uh, like Revolutionary Girl Utena, uh, uh, Princess Tutu, like all those amazing series took some uh, ideas from that, and it's a really cool to go and look and see what some of the earlier ideas were for the magical girl more mature type series but no but Glenn Madoka was the only the only mature dark magical girl series <laughs> yeah it's been, it's been done before it's just uh this had shaft magic sprinkled over it yeah oh yeah there's a, there's also Yuri Sage and Naoko san which oh is my this, God, the, the best the best ufotable <laughs> anime to exist which is about this which is about this uh this martian who comes to earth to yurify everything <laughs> she she comes she wants to make everything lesbian and gay that's that's her goal Does and it's amazing this happen to be you glenn is this like it you in maybe. disguise it was yeah. just it was just me in an anime <laughs> girl outfit it was great oh. everyone should watch yuri sage and noelko center just go watch the op oh yeah it's only one episode it's so sad do you guys have any um, uh, this is, I don't know if this is technically an OVA, it's sort of like an OVA movie, but, uh, Hotorubi no Mori E, cause it didn't- Oh, no, that's, that's technically, yeah, yeah. it's an OVA movie. Yeah, it's technically yeah. an OVA, that's like, really, I like that a lot, for what you it was. You do realise the, the question said overlooked, though, right? It's, it's <laughs> overlooked. No, it's no, even... no, that, no, that's what I was saying, that one's like the most popular, so. <laughs> oh, no, well, no, I, I don't know if I'd go that far, because it's, it's like, popular, it didn't get picked like, up by anyone. Thing. Well, yeah, but it, it's still one of the most popular OVA type ones. Like, oh yeah, I suppose, out. I suppose. But if you haven't <laughs> yeah, watched yeah. it, Lou, it go matter. on. It's, still, it's like, only forty-four minutes, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's I like a, it's it. really <laughs> subtle. Um, so it's like, it's basically shows that you know you don't have to go fill out flashy battle sequences and stuff to like tell a pretty great story. Really, at the core, it's kind of like it's kind of like Ghibli esque in a way. Um, it's nice. I liked it. It's it's 44 minutes, you might as well give it a try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah boy. You don't want drag to, like, you don't want flashy things, do you? What? <laughs> I, I, I never said that. Yeah, well, my, this OVA series, I went, I had this period of time where I was just going through loads of, like, 90s stuff. Um, and I found this really weird one called Delinquent in Drag. Um... <laughs> By but this is a manga, uh, originally a manga by Go Nagai, who's actually a really famous figure, and it's weird. It's that typical um, story of you've got to go and wear girls' clothes in this school for some weird reason, but it gets more ridiculous as it goes along, like like running around causing tornadoes. It's a really fucking weird OVA, but yeah. Um, Sounds like right up your amazing. alleyway, to be honest. But yeah, uh, just there's uh, also, there's also just forty the, minutes. Uh, go, uh, go to, also, like people hi- hold this guy in high, high regards. Going to guy, people like to think he's um, he's uh, like because he introduced us to Mazinga and uh, Gazinga or whatever Bazinga. they are. B- fucking Bazinga, as far as I know, and, like Devil but, uh, Man. But yeah. There's also the all basically all of the uh, anime Mirai projects, which oh, they, yeah. change, they change the oh, name God, from yeah. Mirai to something else. It's um, but yeah, watch all those yeah. Little Witch Academia, Death Billiards. <laughs> everyone knows about those too. Go watch the other ones. Yeah, you, all, of, pieces, all of them are quite good. Yeah. And <laughs> it's not technically an OVA series, it's te- but it's um, technically oh, an OVA. No, no, um, no, no. I was going to mention Animator Expo stuff. 
Oh yeah, watch everyone it. should watch Animator Expo watch stuff. Watch my God, the actually, Animator yeah. Expo stuff because it's amazing. Like everyone just watched me, 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 but there's so much that, cooler that, stuff in there. It makes me. It made. It makes me. Still makes me upset that everyone just watched me, me, me. Didn't watch any of the others. Me, me, yeah, me's I, not the. It's not even the best one. It's not. It's not even. Oh, up there it's not with even close. Ones. Oh, there was this oh. fantastic one. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, because that's what they. Um, it like started the being a. Yeah, Hammerhead, that's it. Hammerhead is phenomenal. Like, oh. beyond most other animation I've seen, and it's got a certain style that is it's just incredibly it's a hyper of violent. What animation can fucking do when you should watch it. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that is Animator should, Expo in a nutshell. Should, uh, yeah, we yeah. should probably move on to the last question then. Right. Yeah. From Usagi Chris, uh, who told me to turn down the bullying. He was right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about you talk about shows you find to be the most underrated? And underrated is a term used. Yeah, might be, um, like I'm not sure if he means like overlooked or. I think um, overlooked is, is the uh, overlooked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's probably what he means because yeah, we've s- if somehow you mean underrated. We, yeah. We'd have to talk about like popular shows that were just. It doesn't matter. Let's talk about overlooked series. Yeah, so do, that's the thing. Like, it's hard to know it what you because Same. we we exist in our own times. bubbles. Like, um, we've got our own bubbles where we just kind of talk amongst each other. So we already are kind of watching the same sort of things and we're already talking about the same sort of things. You guys never listen to me, though. The few times yeah, you but... listen to me, you're like, oh, glad this is like my new favorite series, but you don't listen to me for anything else. You don't listen to me about Deno Coil, Kiranai, Ungo. Oh my god, Callum, I got the perfect thing. Ungo? Uh, Wait, Ungo, like, <laughs> came up recently. Uh, wasn't yeah. that the same thing? Oh yeah, same thing as uh, FMA and Concrete Revolution. Yeah, the FMA, the FMA team in 2011, yeah. Yeah. Chronicles of the Going Home Club, Callum. Is it underrated? Oh, oh it is yes. underrated, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it it's is all, underrated. It's what? Um, Wait, what? Okay, Chronicles, Chronicles of the, of the Going, Going Home, Home Club. Club. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. Or if you want to say the Japanese name, be my guess because it's a nightmare. Um, I don't even remember the Japanese name. It's uh, actually. Let's see if I can find it. No, there's, I can't find also, it. Like all those from all those I listed. Like there's also uh, more Yo No Hako. Which is basically a better game of Laplus, to be honest. It's different from Game of Laplus, but like I they're very similar. I Wait, suppose. uh what's the name? Morio no No Hako. Hako. It's a madhouse anime from like two thousand seven that nobody watched except for me. <laughs> oh, okay. It's you you know, I just like to watch these random things and then just tell everyone how good they are and be like, Oh, maybe you should yeah. watch it and then they never do. Never you do. just get that feeling of that sense of superior superiority. Oh I no that that's I live off of it. Yeah. <laughs> but back to Kitakubu Katsudo Kiroku just which, say Chronicles of the Going Home Club for fuck's sake. I wanted to I wanted to try that out, but that is a nightmare to say. Um yeah. An incredibly, incredibly effective comedy series that doesn't let down for a second, goes full out, thrusters on, destroys it's the competition. Funny. Yeah, it's yeah. one of the um, that and GA Art Design Club is two of the best comedy series. Yeah, nobody believes me about GA Art Design Club because I use it as a uh, thing. Like whenever anyone says, "Oh, you can't be an anime," uh, like you can't have an opinion because you haven't watched this highly prestigious just series. It's like. Yeah. The GR yeah. Sunclass. I'll watch it eventually. But yeah, GR Sunclass. It's know, really good. Russ, you've seen you've seen like the least amount of anime. Out of okay, anyone. I've got. I think I've got three here. I'm not sure about the first one, but the other two, sure. Uh, Yamano Susume, which is an underrated short. If it is actually underrated, I'm not really I, too sure. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah in the West, is. I'd say it is. Yeah, in and the West, it is. Nanana's buried treasure, bringing it back, bringing it back to yeah. Uh, uh, an old time favorite, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's an underrated, like, Indiana Jones style, like, um, adventure really, show. Really if good. you're into that, uh, it's the pretty Blu-ray great. The Blu ray batch just got released. Yeah. The Blu ray what? You can watch it on Blu ray now. FFF did it. How long? How long? Oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant they finally released the Blu rays. Yeah, I was going like, yeah, oh, no, no, to it's, it's not getting a Blu ray release outside of Japan. No way. Oh, yeah. Um, It's had some acquisitions. Around the well, world. Well, yeah, Anyplex has it. They'll probably just give it a DVD no, release. Yeah, nobody's going to give it a Blu-ray because they hate it. 
They hate yeah, it. Always your They're one. against us. This other one, I'm really not sure if it's underrated as well, but uh, it's a pretty good, like, uh, etchy. If you haven't seen it, it's called uh, Demon King Daimo. I'm not really sure if that's underrated. <laughs> you recommending Demon King Daimo? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty funny, I guess. Do you, I loved it. I loved that. The fact, what that was, I thought that was great. <laughs> Russ, I didn't know you were this Demon source King of person. Daimo. What? Oh... Taylor will back I'm, me up. Me and him love no, it. No, it's it's, it's 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 all right. It's just but like I wasn't is. expecting that of all For things. What it is, I think it's great. Yeah. It was fucking yeah. Artland. Well, everyone's everyone just like anything. everyone's just like High School of the Dead, High School DxD. Oh, school what school about of the... what about Demon King Daimo? You know, give it some love. Yeah. That studio that made that is almost dead, and I no, just that's like Artland. What do you want about? Well, they haven't done anything. Mushishi. Oh wait. Oh yeah, they did Mushishi. They haven't like oh they're doing yearly stuff. Oh, Sorry, no. they they've changed their name three times. So they're they a bloody them? well. Uh, yeah, they just be- it was called Artland, and now they <laughs> now them they're calling themselves Animation Studio Artland, just in case anyone wasn't familiar. <laughs> just in case, yeah, guys. My, my... Just just so you know, we are Animation Studio Artland. But yeah. But what, over, the, over, what else are they going to make, though? It, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's finish. Let's answer this question and finish okay. the podcast. Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> uh, like I just, I just mentioned a few names and didn't actually elaborate very much, and I won't elaborate very much just because I have too many. But I guess I'll stick it to three. Like that's my thing: fighting overlooked shit that no one's seen is my thing. I love doing that. Uh, Deno Coil, which isn't particularly overlooked, but it is very much not watched enough. It's a madhouse show by Iso Mitsio who is one of my favorite people in the industry, one of the best animators, one of the best directors. Sad that Deno Coyle didn't do well enough and he got in a fight with like some executives at Madhouse and so <laughs> stopped being in the industry. Uh, oh, I love how this derailed. Yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> to a, uh, a it's no, like a it's nice about a futuristic show. world with like gla- like these futuristic glasses that can like go into a different thing. It's, it's really good. It's really you should watch it. Uh, because of recency bias, Cure Nye, this brains based two thousand eight show, which is sort of like that's not recency kind of bias. Like, it's two thousand eight. Yeah, I know, but I watched it recently. I didn't watch. Oh, it okay. Before. And it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was like a co-sec sort of sort of detective type thing, but not really. Uh. And that other show I recommended that was like Game of Lapis, uh, Mayaki, No Hoko, or whatever. Yeah, there we go. We did we the go. first question segment. We did it. That it was quite long. Us, like, I was expecting it to be much yeah, shorter. Yeah, I, I didn't. Th- yeah. The thing is, I picked these questions that were really broad, and we could go on about stuff. Yeah, we could talk. I didn't realize ages. how long that would be. Yeah. So maybe, maybe I should pick easier questions next time. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait. I do have one final question. Um. From yeah, Schools oh. Undefiable, can you please remove the fucking Aussie and maybe get a new person who isn't a complete twat? I completely I agree. I completely agree. I completely agree. Best, We're, yeah. that, next next episode, he's I'd like gone. to stand up as uh, that guy's cousin, <laughs> as Canapon. I'd like to uh, stand up for Canapa. I think he's a top lad. Oh, uh, oh, quality dear. comment. Quality comment. Yeah, Thank best you comment questions. on the video, actually. So, yeah, ask ask more questions. Yeah. Uh, and feel free, guy, feel free might, to keep saying you want to replace Callum because uh, I love I love question. it. It's great. <laughs> so um, yeah, we should probably probably wrap things up now. Hey guys, yeah, this is a long winded one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so podcast is also on iTunes. We're also on Twitter at uh, Anyfix Podcast. You can follow us on there. Um, if you use iTunes, rate us on iTunes, please. Yeah, if you use iTunes, please do go give us a rating. Uh, uh, if if you. If you have a five heart, stars, we're the only anime podcast that actually makes podcast episodes anymore. So hmm, maybe I don't know. Um, shots fired. Shots. Not, uh, shots firing at everyone who's dead. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks corpses. for listening. See you later. Yeah. Hopefully, bye, I'll be back next week.